for global ministries, critical presence means not only to move outside our national boundaries in order to meet God's people and creation in a foreign land, but also it means to be present right here in the heart and the daily life of our two denominations in the United States and Canada, facilitating the engagement of congregations, the engagement of regions, of conference, of constituency groups and other church settings in education and advocacy. The resource war in the Democratic Republic of Congo is an ongoing horror that affects us all. That our cell phones and computers, our light bulbs come to us at a human cost of millions of lives is a reality almost too hard to bear, even if we knew about it. Three threads connecting Congo's past to the present. And these threads are, one, the Congo as a failed state, two, the greed of global corporations for strategic raw materials, and three, the hypocrisy of the international community. This is why it is important to understand the nature of the conflict in the Congo, particularly in the conflict minerals region in the East. It is not an inter-ethnic conflict, and in spite of the fact that six million people have died, it cannot be described as Africa's world war. There is no ethnic strife in Eastern Congo, just as the war was never a civil war. It was a war of aggression from the outside, and is still being thought as such, albeit through proxy groups, such as the National Congress for People's Defense, CNDP, a Congolese Tutsi group sponsored by Rwanda and comprising many Rwandan soldiers as detailed in the New York Times of December 4, 2008.